gracious me! What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to the road to glory, it is that time of the week again where we have some rewards. Now unfortunately I don't have any extra packs like I have done over the last couple of weeks uh, because there's not really been any SBCs. It's Black Friday of course this weekend, we have Cyber Monday as well so over the four day period there should be a whole host of SBCs we can complete. Um, we're predicting... Uh, team of the week 10 SBCs. We're also predicting 82 plus, 82 plus SBCs as well. So you know those upgrade packs. Um, if it looks like I've just woke up, it's because I have. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. I went to sleep at about six, so I am uh, very, very tired right now. This is the team of the week. I'm sure you've seen it by now. Unbelievable team of the week, to be honest. And if I'm looking for red player picks, uh, I'm probably gonna get Yedvi. Maybe Olsen. Um, no, realistically though, if I can get Kolarov, I tell you what, that wouldn't be a bad little player. He's not really worth much. He's down in the 30s now. He was about 40, 50 yesterday. You could pick him up for about 35k these days. Um, given the fact that Black Friday starts tomorrow, I would imagine these player prices are going to plummet as well. Uh, but the two that I really, 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 really want are... Van Dijk and Allison. Now I know that that is somewhat of a pipe dream given that they're both 86 and 87 and the highest rated red player pick we've had so far was 84. Uh, Allison isn't even worth that much. You can get him for less than 50k which is insane. Uh, Van Dijk was 600k yesterday. He's down 200k to about 400. So that wouldn't be impossible anyway uh, if we got some decent rewards. To be honest though as good as that team of the week is, there aren't that many players in there that would fit into my team. Kolarov would, and I would really like him. He's got some really nice stats. I know we have Telez, but you could do some things with Kolarov. And then, of course, those two fit into the team perfectly. And those are the only three, realistically, that I would I would want. I mean, of course, I'm going to take a Sane. I'm going to take a Salah. I'm going to take this, that, and the other. Now, let's claim the rival rewards first. Then we'll do the player picks and then we'll crack on with some packs i'm going to take the untradeables yes we finished rank three yes it's annoying yes i'm crap but it was uh it was down to a lot of things really the this patch has has really thrown me off if you didn't know I've banged on about it enough now play on pc so i have the new patch where manual defending is a thing and i tell you what that is hard so even if i wanted to go for rank two this week even if I wanted to go for rank two, had wanted to, um, it would have been next to impossible for me to do it anyway. Uh, just quickly before we claim them, let's clear this transfer list. Uh, we sold a couple of things, nothing too crazy. We're up to 108,000 coins, which is pretty damn awesome. We've got quite a few new player faces um, in the game this week, which is which is pretty cool. There's none there. There's Consigli, is, I believe, is a new player face. Vasalco has a new face and uh, maybe Mariano is a new face as well can I put all those in my club yes I can I just want to clear some space just in case we pack loads of untradeables and uh, here we go then let oh hello let's get oh hello I've done it again let's get cracking with our foot champions rewards only gold three again uh, we have plenty of games remaining to push on and given this t week's team of the week maybe i should have done we'll have six 35ks to open only the 150k we've claimed 30k coins we've got automatic qualification into next week's weekend league because we're already quite oh no, wait no we're not We'll, we've got qualification for this weekend league. My bad. It doesn't. Yeah, it just gives you those up those points preliminary, doesn't it? Right. Anyway, who cares? Player picks. This is it. Every week I've got an 84 plus. Can we continue the trend today? Can we continue? Well, yes. Oh my God. Yes. That is amazing. Pjanic actually fits into the team. Hi, oh, crazy. He gets, um, oh, that's unbelievable. He gets a really nice link to Dybala. He's not amazing, but he's good. And I am probably going to replace Jao Mario with Pjanic. 
That is a very, very, I've hit my desk. That is a very, very, very good poll. And you can tell by the look on my face, I'm very happy. I saw Severovic and I thought, here we go. But no, that is fantastic. I cannot complain about any, anything now. It doesn't matter what I pack from now on. That is a great poll. I don't think he's worth that much, but that is a great poll. The second player we get is going to be, oh, jeez. Oh my god, I cannot believe we've just done that and people always go on about gold 3 being a cop out and I've just got 287s, I told you I'd get Olsen, 287s, one of which will be, I mean his reactions are terrible, that is not good, Um, it's, it's a good card. It's a very, apart from those reactions, that's the only frustrating thing. His reactions need to be 85 plus, and then that is an insane card. However, it's a it's a very, very solid poll, and I'll tell you what, I'm taking it. That is 287s from gold 3, and I've seen some people's top 100 rewards already, and they have got absolutely sod all, so that is fantastic. I cannot believe that. Let's claim those bad boys. We have a hundred... I can't believe that. We've got 138,000 coins. I want to quickly look to see how much A. Mares is. And then I want to look to see how much Pjanic is. Just to give me some indication as to how much money we've just packed. 245,000 coins in Mares. That is um, more than all of my red player picks ever combined. And then Pjanic, probably not an awful lot. Yeah, you know, he's about 60k. But hey, that's awesome. That is amazing. It's 60k I didn't have to spend on an upgrade I didn't really want to make. So now we could go and get Kolarov if I wanted to. We could go and get uh, Manolas. And we could sell Tellez if I wanted to. Not saying I will. There's options. There are options. I would need a lot of money in order to get this Van Dijk. Because Alisson Van Dijk is actually a very nice... Um, upgrade on what I have right now, Miranda and Handanovic. Now, Handanovic is a great goalkeeper, but we would require Allison in order to get, um, what's his name? In order to get Van Dijk. Now, I'm going to start from the back, work my way to the front. 435Ks, not expecting anything from this. And to be fair, I don't deserve anything from this either. Um, we get ourselves some boards, which is nice. All this, by the way, is SBC fodder. The reason I chose untradeables is down to the fact that we have Black Friday this weekend. And I really need to stock this club up with untradeable SBC fodder. So, um, anything I can... I'm, I say anything I can discard. is This is all untradeable, right? Yeah, this is all untradeable. So, I suppose, in a way... There's, uh, there's no point in me discarding anything, and I might as well just keep it all. We've got some duplicate players here. Uh, I know in the interest of time I should cut this out, but I am going to leave it in. And I'm just going to swap these around quickly. I would save those players. I, I, do you know what? I am. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take... I'm not going to... Oh, okay, so Sarabia was untradeable anyway. That's frustrating, so he has to go. Uh, and I'll just keep the rest because, you know, why not? But um, I will keep anything and everything I can because... Things are going to start to have premium prices depending on what SBCs are released. So, this is the second 35k pack. We don't get a walkout there. We do get boards again, though. Brazil, centre mid. Oh, God, it could have been. I mean, that's still fantastic. An 85 rated player is fantastic, but it could have been Fabinho. That would have been immense because that would have meant I could have sold my Fabinho and we could have made a lot of money there. But, um, hey... I will definitely take that. Uh, let's move on and see what we can do here. I'm going to swap. Can I not do that? Okay, I was going to swap that squad fitness for one in my club. Oh, an 84 and an 83. And we got an 85. That is crazy. We already have Gomez, of course. And it's annoying that I'm going to have to get rid of the record on this Gomez. Not that it's a great record, but I do like to have records on players. Let's just swap all these. That's immense. I mean, this so far has been absolutely fantastic. To get what we've got is insane uh, from goal three, rank three. And to be honest, even if I've got games left over, why do I bother going for higher if I get decent player picks every week anyway? 
We've always got an 84 plus minimum. And uh, we got two 87s this week. And I've managed to get good things from gold 3 rewards. We've got boards again. Not gold 3. Rank 3, sorry. Uh, we get an 83 rated player once more. If we can get boards in every single 35k pack, I will be a very happy man indeed. Uh, we get a lot of, again, SBC fodder. Three managers in one pack. Let's just push on to the end of the pack here. We've got a couple of duplicates, nothing crazy. And uh, we can easily make a little bit off uh, getting rid of him, putting those up there. Oh, he's untradeable. I'm going to have to discard. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, okay, fine. Put it all in the club. I'm annoyed by that. I'm, I, I will 100% forget. Right. One final untradeable 35k pack. No walkout just yet. Again, though, I cannot complain about these rewards and will not complain about the lack of a walkout. But if we can get some boards here, that would be fantastic. Some informs would be nice. Purely... Oh, if it was going to be Gabriel Jesus, that would have just been the icing. But um, a, a, an inform would be very, very welcome here because I, I know that if they do drop that Team of the Week 10 repeatable SBC, wow. Um... That's in, that's I mean that's a great pack. Then uh, we will require informs if we're going to do it untradeable at least. So let's uh, again let's swap all these and then everything we have left to open now uh, is tradable. Two is it two thirty five k's? I think it's two thirty five k's, one fifty k, and it's all tradable. He's untradable, and that's that. So we can. Yeah, we'll have to discard Dennis Suarez, but hey, that's just part of it. So, yeah, this is all tradable now. So, if we are going to get a walkout, then now would be the time to do it. Come on, EA. Be super duper generous. Uh, no walkout in this one. Okay. Any boards? Any boards about? Any bo No, no boards. First, first one we don't get boards is tradable. That is kind of typical, not going to lie. But we do have an awful lot of 83s, 84s, and, and the odd 85 now. Four SBCs, which I am extremely pleased about. I can start discarding these. I won't list those now. I would normally list them, but um, I'll list these, actually, because uh, because why not? Uh, if we can get one six for these, I doubt we'll be able to... Oh, okay. Nearly made a mistake there. I doubt we'll be able to get one six at the moment, because people are just rinsing packs uh, through the rewards. But, um, yeah, we'll see. And we'll discard those. We'll discard all this. Don't need that. Put that in club. Two packs remain. 140,000 coins exactly in the bank. Can we get anything to boost that coin balance? Come on, EA. You know you want to be generous. No. No walkout in this one. Can we get some boards, though? We didn't get boards in the last one. No boards in both tradables. That is typical. Now, I'm not complaining about the lack of boards in general. It's just frustrating that uh, the both tradable packs are the worst packs we've had. Uh, let's get rid of those. Uh, move to the back of the... The pack here, if we can list this for 1-6 as well. Not too bad. Uh, right, get rid of this. That doesn't sell for anything. Get rid of all that. Put them up to the transfer. Get rid of those. We have six spots remaining on the transfer list. Should be enough for this 50k pack. If we were ever going to get a walkout, now would be a very nice time to get it. Not that I deserve it. And we're not going to get it. Well, that's a lot of packs and no walkout. I'm a little bit surprised we didn't get Oh, my God. A 50k pack without any boards. Oh, I mean, I know I said I wouldn't complain, but that is unbelievable. A 50k pack and no boards? Wow. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world, is it? Let's put that in club. i got six spots remaining, so I'll just save the high-rated players or the highest-rated players and discard the 76, I suppose. And we get 608 coins for that. We didn't make anywhere near as much money from the from the rewards as I thought we might do. Um, especially in those tradable packs where we didn't get one board. But what we managed to get was incredible. Now this is what I'd plan not planned necessarily, but this is what I thought could be an option. If we'd got a red Van Dyke or a red Allison, we could have maybe gone into this. Now, I don't necessarily think this is fantastic because it means Mertens can't fit in there, and it also meant that I would have to play Marcus Alonso because I obviously couldn't afford to keep Tellez, and even with Tellez, he wouldn't have fit in there chemistry-wise. That now, of course, is a little bit different because A, we don't have the money for Van Dyke anyway, 
and B, João Mario, theoretically at least, isn't going to remain in the club. Well, not in the club. He'll remain in the club, of course, but he won't remain um, as part of the starting eleven. So if I put Miranda back in and I get myself... I don't want a Brazilian goalkeeper. And I get myself Handanovic, which is obviously the goalkeeper we've been using. That is the team we used in Weekend League. And it's the... Well, no, maybe not that. The team... The, wait, 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 wait. That is the team we used in Weekend League. There's a slight... Uh, shift to be made here somewhere. I, whatever, you know, it's it, 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 it's it's that set of players we used, right? However, now now we have a couple of options here. We have, I cannot believe the, those red player picks, we have those two. Now, I can't use Mares as a starting 11 player. I'm going to get Richarlison out of there because I very rarely bring him on. He doesn't have that many games. But Pjanic can go in now. He gets a good link to Dybala. We don't need the solid link to Skriniar anymore. And that is pretty decent, I think. I think. Is there a way? Is that is that it? Yeah, that's a way. So, so yeah, that that's how the team can line up. Obviously, if we would switch in-game. It wouldn't stay as a 4-3-1-2. It would go to a 4-2-3-1 with Pjanic as the cam instead of João Mario. And then, of course, Dybala would go right. Mertens would go left. Firmino would be the striker. Nine Golan and uh, Fabinho would be my two CDMs. The back line remains the same, of course. And that is, uh, of course, now we've got Mares on the bench as a super sub. He can come on. I don't know who he'd come on instead of, to be honest, because... I like Shakiri a lot. You know, he scores pretty much every single time he comes on. And even though Mares again, left footed, five star skills, four star weak foot, and he has some insane stats, I don't know how often this guy's going to play because of Shakiri, which is interesting. But um, I tell you what, I am very excited now about going into games with this. I'm not excited about going into Weekend League at all because I hate that game mode with a passion. And since the patch, I've been awful. I think I've won one game since that patch. But we got some insane red player picks. Let me know down below what you got in your reward packs, whether it be the red player picks or the packs in general. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow because even though I'd like to include some uh, foot champions gameplay and I well I might include some foot champions no I can't include foot champions gameplay I don't know what I'm going to do for tomorrow basically I'm going out very very early tomorrow morning and I won't be back until very late so I have to record the tomorrow's road to glory today I don't know what I'm going to show you but uh, whatever it'll be hopefully you guys will enjoy if you have enjoyed this episode smack the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time goodbye Thank <laughs> you.